Food, glorious food. We all love eating it, but photographing it can be harder than you might think. In this project, I'm going to whisk up your food photography into shape with a few simple tips. Now we're going for a festive feel with mince pies, but the tips I'm dishing out can be applied to any edible treats. So follow along and give it a go. In order for a dish to look the part, you have to learn about the light and the styling of the food before taking your shots. In this simple tutorial, we'll show you how to use natural window light for soft shadows, how to style your food for a scrumptious look, and how opening up your aperture really makes your subject stand out. You'll need a surface to style on, food of your choice, and a few props to hand. A lens with a wide maximum aperture is also ideal for throwing distracting backgrounds out of focus. The first step is to move near the window, as natural light is essential for this simple shoot. Light through a window produces beautiful, flattering, soft shadows that will wrap around the food that you're photographing. In this shoot, we use the light from a large kitchen window, but don't feel confined to shooting in your kitchen. Go wherever the good light is. To start off the styling, place the food on an attractive surface. This could be a simple white plate, a beautiful slab of slate, or a weathered wooden board. It's not just the look of the food itself that should have you drooling, but how it's presented. Think carefully about the props that are visible in your scene, and remember that sometimes less is more. We added in icing sugar and a few snowflake cutters into our frame, as these match the shape of the mince pies pastry. Before you go out prop shopping, raid your kitchen cupboards first. Because we were shooting indoors with a low ISO, we'd be mounting our DSLR on a tripod. However, we turned on Live View to find a few compositions that we liked first, then set up the tripod in place afterwards. Some food items will look best from a front angle, whereas others will look best when you shoot down from directly above the table. A shallow depth of field will allow the back of the food to blur into a silky texture, putting focus on the food. And to achieve this, you'll need a wide aperture. Switch to AV mode, set an ISO of 100 and a shallow aperture such as f2.8 to throw a distracting background out of focus. When you choose what aperture to start with, consider your subject shape and your camera angle. Use Live View to compose and restyle the scene as you go. To polish off the scene, bounce some light back into the darker side of the food with a piece of white foam board or reflector. This fills in the shadows and provides more detail in the final image, and is particularly important for darker coloured foods like chocolate or dark fruit. If you're after a moodier look, try using a black foam board instead. You could even hang some linen or sheer fabric over the window frame to soften the light. Here, we pulled down the blind of our window to diffuse the light that was hitting our food. Take some test shots, then modify, experiment and shoot. So with our settings dialed in and our food styled up, here's our final shot from the day. Delicious festive goodness. <laughs>